I can't thank you enough for coming back for me. My stay with the elves was brief, but I learned a lot. The ice elves have been hiding for centuries, but recently a new queen has forced her way onto the throne. Her name is Aisha, and she didn't take the throne by herself. She has a personal army of ice dragons that helped her. She's trying to claim more land for the ice elves by force, which is why the dragons and elves are attacking the humans. That's not all. They say she possesses the elemental orb of ice. That is probably how she is controlling the ice dragons. She's been talking with the natives of the frozen Northlands, making promises and building alliances. You might stand a chance against the elves and the dragons, but if they have the numbers of the other tribes with them, then we are doomed. We need to speak with the leaders of the tribes and convince them to join us, or all is lost. You and I will have to visit the crafty Kilgwins, the powerful Ursice Bears, and the brutal Tuskers to make our case. We have to hurry. I don't know how long Aisha and her elves will hold off on their attacks. Now, because of how fast that was, I might, uh, I might, uh, have time to do this next quest, too. Yeah, 42 minutes. We'll do the Kilgwin Arena. We'll roll at least try. I remember this quest being a pain, but I also might not have had, like, a fire weapon to do it with the first time I played the game. Aisha, the queen of the Ice Elves, is gathering her forces and preparing to attack Drakesvard. We just don't have the strength to stand up to the Ice Dragons and Ice Elves by ourselves. You have to convince the Kilgwins to join the fight with the humans. Their help won't be enough, but they would be good friends to have in this battle. Do whatever it takes to win the Kilgwins over to our side. If you don't, Aisha will. Oh, man, I forgot that you had to... I thought it was just the arena. Alright, so I don't think I'm going to be killing these things in one hit, and I don't know if I can afford to uh, take a whole lot of damage from these jerks. So we're just going to... Oh, snap! Oh, at least the one will be gone, and Galanoth should be able to finish off the other. Okay, maybe not. Oh, snap, I was wrong. He did. See, now we eventually make our way to an arena where we have to fight, like, three of these things at once. Several times in a row. It's not fun. I think it heal I think it gives you the opportunity to heal before you start with the first one though, so I'm not gonna Oh, sweet. Alright, got him with the days this time, at least. I would like it if I quit missing the, uh, one of those moves. Alright.
All right, and we made our way to the arena. Linus. Welcome to the Killy Willy Tribe Battle Arena. <laughs> Why does it look like a hockey rink? We have not seen humans here for a very long time. I am the Emperor of the Kilguins. You may call me Linus. I like that he's just a small little penguin and not like a Kilguin. Now what do you want? Greetings, your highness. My name is Hunter, and I have come to ask for your help in the name of the people of Dragsvard. Dragsvard? Those humans have wronged us for too long. We will never help them. Tell me, O oh great Linus, what... In what way have the humans of Dragsvard wronged you? They eat our fish. I'm sorry, did you say your fish? Yes, our fish. You mean they take all the fish and leave you none? No, they only take some of the fish. Don't you think your exact your reaction is a little extreme? There seems to be enough fish to go around. Listen, pal, we're Kilguins, okay? Do you see any houses? Any crops? No. All we have is ice and fish. We don't like the taste of ice very much, so taking our fish, any of our fish, is a pretty big deal. Your Highness, the Queen of the Ice Elves is amassing an army to march against Dragsvard, and she won't stop there. Once the humans are gone, your people will be next. We must put aside our differences and unite to defend ourselves. Surely there would be, or there must be some way you could come to trust my people. We are aware of the situation with the Ice Elves, but we will not be easily convinced. But there is a way. The frozen Northlands are harsh and unforgiving. It takes a will of steel to endure the bitter cold. I propose a test of your endurance, hero. I will send my tribe's greatest warriors to face you here in the arena. If you can survive my ba every battle, then you will have our respect. Do you do agree to this contest? I do not feel battle hi or not fear battle, highness. I agree to your test of endurance. I applaud your courage, human. Or I would if I didn't have these tiny flippers on either side of this adorable round body. First, you face a single one of my warriors. Let the contest begin. So this isn't too bad, because, you know, one of them isn't that hard to handle. It's like, I think you have to fight... Mm, that was just a warm-up round. Let's see how you handle two of my Killy Willy Warriors. Yeah, like, still not bad. I'm pretty sure three is what you have to do, and you have to do three more than once. And that was just a pain sometimes. I think I was also trying that at like level 15. And that just didn't go well for me. Nice. Far too easy for a rogue of your might. Perhaps three of my warriors will be more of a challenge for you. I also don't think I was trying to, like, bring people with me in the party either. Well, that might have been a thing, is that the, uh, the game used to do this thing where the uh, enemy's HP and stuff would scale when you had, uh, party members with you. So rather than them being at, like, 162, let's pretend that 162 is the normal, like, HP pool that they have. If I brought Galanoth with me, they'd have, like, 200-something. Which, you know, on one hand it might make it easier, but on the other hand it would be just as hard in some respects. Yeah, especially just as hard with a lot of the uh, companions at the time, because a lot of the companions at the time did not hit very hard. It was like a little bit of extra damage. Oh my god, did you see that one hit that the guy up there got on Galanoth? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and he might be able to pull off a crit with the uh, spear here or even the kick mmm yeah there we go I hear my tribe whispering outside the arena they are beginning to see your power now for the real test you must face two of my personal guards so just two big kill wins I guess uh, anyway smoke screen Uh, 
I guess I won't be choosy with which one I attack. Throw that knife right in his face. Ooh, nice. Oh, Galanoth is about to be toast. Got him at least a uh, shin kick, this one. Not affected by painful shins, unfortunately. Ah, oh, rip Galanoth. I think I'll be okay, though. I'm already most of the way through, and I didn't use any potions yet. Impressive. One final battle remains, but it will be the most difficult. You must battle and defeat the Killy Willy Tribe's greatest warrior, and even if you fail, know that you have earned our admiration. Good luck. It's just another Kilgwin. I couldn't remember. Oh, he wasn't affected by the stun. Oh, he hit me real hard, though. Did you see that? I should be able to kill him before my uh, smoke screen wears off, though. Yeah! Oh my god! I'm definitely gonna kill him. Oh, nice. You have bested all of our best fighters. You have beaten my challenge, hero. You are the king, don't I get to battle you? Oh, heavens no. Kilgun's. Select their leaders on the basis of adorability and cuteness. I'm a leader, not a fighter. Why do they just select you based on that? <laughs> that was an impressive display, hero. You have earned the respect of my people. Thank you, Highness, on behalf of the people of Drakesvard. You will begin preparations for the defense of your town and our tribe immediately. You have gained a powerful ally this day. When the battle for Drakesvard begins, we will be at your side. All right. You did it. Linus and the Kilgwins have agreed to join forces and help defend Gra Drake's Vard against the Ice Elf Queen. Next stop, the Ursai's home camp. All right, so I think that puts me on the like what the last quest of this page. Bearfax mall quest. One, two, three, four, five. That's the one there. So we're going to stop here for today, and next time we'll either finish this quest line or get really close to it. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, I hope you've been enjoying. Thank you for watching. Until next time, follow me to Apex.